Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org and today I'm going to show you how to format numbers um, particularly uh, money with the dollar sign and any type of percentage with the percent sign afterwards so let me show you a class um, we're going to have to import it but I, I usually don't import things at first I kind of uh, write, write it out as if I was coding it and then in Eclipse it will be underlined in red and you can go underneath and it will have a suggestion to import it so that's a lot easier for me so first we're going to say number format uh, that's the um, the object we're instantiating and I'm going to call this money that's a variable name equals say number format dot get currency instance and well it automatically imported it for me so we didn't have to do it and let's just set up the other uh, format out of the way so number format um, let's say percent equals number format dot get percent instance okay so let's just say that we have Hmm, what should I do this? I'm gonna just call them doubles and I'm gonna say total. No, I'm gonna say double um, initial value and total. And then I'm gonna have. I'll also put the say interest rate in here. Right. It's custom when you're naming your variables to start it off with uh, the first word with a lowercase letter and if it's multiple words, every word should still be connected, no white space in between and have the next word start with a capital letter and all the words after that starting with capital letters. But more than two words is almost overdoing it so you want to keep your variable name short and precise and to the point. Um, so let's just say initial value equals say I put ten thousand in the bank. Don't need the comma in there. And let's set the interest rate to I don't know much about banking or anything, but let's let's get a cool interest rate. Something somebody would really like to have. Let's say 15% per year. So here we go, 15, and let's say uh, total equals. And this is total after one year would equal. Ten thousand times. See, what am I doing? Initial value times interest rate. Uh, it's a late night right now. Sorry. So, if right now, if we just added this, uh, or total. A little space so we can see what we're doing. It will probably be a huge decimal number and won't be very pretty. No, not a huge decimal number, but um, total. Ah, I made a big mistake. Total plus equals initialized value. So that should give us the total. Let me make sure my math is correct. Okay, so after a year at 15%, that's what your money should be looking like in the bank. But if I was writing a program and I needed to show it in a with a dollar sign in front, and, you know, two uh, spaces right here for the change, 
how am I going to do that? So what you're going to want to do is we have a number format and the variable name is money. So the way we're going to write that is we're going to say, get this from now, we're going to say money, the, the variable name, dot format. And in the parameters of format, we're going to put the value we want to format, so total. So right now it should have a dollar sign. Um, I'm not sure if it has a comma or not. We're about to find out, but it will have the two uh, decimal places. Pretty cool, huh? So it does have the comma. That makes it look really nifty. So we can have that, and looks professional. Um, let's print out. Uh, let's print this out in a sentence so it looks cool. All right. If I, uh, if I put, and then we're going to concatenate initial value let's format that so money dot format initial value that would if I put uh, dollars in the bank at now we're gonna format the percentage sign say I say at 15% interest we're gonna say percent dot format uh, interest rate Then I will have concatenate that with money dot format total. So let's see how this works. How is that getting in here? Ah, no. All right. Now that looks good. If I put $10,000 in the bank at 15%, then I will have $11,500. So that's a good way to uh, format your numbers a little bit better. There's some other formatting ways um, I can get into later if you're uh, not money, because all money usually has two decimal points. Um, but if you're doing some type of math or you know science formulas or anything, sometimes you want to specify, or if you wanted to write out pi, um, and you don't want to have an infinite amount of uh, digits, which a computer won't put by the way, but it will give you quite a few, you're going to want to format that to where it doesn't take up the whole screen, and you can format how many decimal places you want afterwards, and you can also, before the decimal place, pad something with zeros to keep, um, you know, in, an example of that would be kind of how a uh, the mile marker on your car, uh, the odometer, how that has a bunch of zeros on the front as placeholders. So there's a lot you can do to format text and numbers the way you want. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to Nick Programming on my YouTube channel and visit my website, nickprogramming.org, which I'm currently working on trying to make it a little bit better and a little bit more efficient but uh please keep watching some of these videos and i'm gonna put a bunch of beginner videos in the order i think that they should be put on but i'm also going to try to put on some some more advanced videos here and there uh which i think are cool like cool java tips and i will see you next time thank you